Okay, people, this is going to show you a quick way to get past your final exam. It's, uh, this is probably the best way. It's a, you know, it's a little time consuming, but you will thank me later. It's, uh, this will help a lot. First, you're going to need a text editing program. Now, I use a program called OpenOffice.org. Now, I'll put a link in the description below. Now, what you want to do with this uh, editing program, go and make a table. Go insert. You want to make rows. Now, I'm going to say make about 400. Now, this is if you're starting the application from the very beginning, or the test from the very, very, very beginning. Now, we got 400 tables. Okay. Tables, these are what tables? No other. So anyways, what you're going to do is you're going to go to your, this is chapter one, five questions. Now, it says, who elects the governing body of mutual insurance company? Now, what you'll do is you'll copy and then paste it to your thing there, to your text. Go back, enter it. I'm going to give you this one for free. I do remember this. Now, policy holders. Okay, so we got the answer there. Which I would have gotten it wrong. That would have been. Now you place the answer. Uh, oops. And you place the answer next to the question. Now, do this for all the questions in each chapter. Now, if you want to, you can label it, you know, chapter one. You don't really need to because the final chapter has every single chapter just in it. Every single question from every single chapter just doesn't really matter if you, math, you know, do it chapter one, chapter two, chapter three. You can do that to help on certain chapters, but you don't really have to. Now, we're going to say later on you've got, you know, you've got on your test here. Come across the same exact question. Now we're going to pretend this isn't answered yet. You're going to come across this question. Now what you're going to do, go over here, now you control F. Now you can search. I don't think it shows the search thing on the video here, but there is a search. Now when you search for it, control F, you control V, to paste the question and it will highlight it will highlight the question if you have it already on your paper or your text editor. So now you know the answer. This is one of your final exam questions we'll say and now you know the answer. Therefore you don't have to Stress and you know, oh, look all over for it again if you don't remember. That's uh, now you've got it, and of course, you've got the other 200 questions or whatever it is between chapters 1 through 18. It's uh, already listed here, and you can do the same thing just search for the question, see if you have it. If you do not have it, add it to the bottom. Say, okay? this is the bottom, there's the last question here. Give it like a space or so, so you know that these are things that weren't previously on your quizzes go add it again you know I add the new one and when you get the answer to the new one I'll just say uh, 100 or whatever just for example you know paste that there you go this way in case you fail a section a chapter you can go back and you already have the answers that you have already found enough right well, anyways, that is the quickest way to do the final exam because you will have, again, all of the answers that you have done from Acts or Chapter 1 through 18 uh, already on the paper. Then you can search for the question from the final exam. You know, it's not guaranteed you're going to have every single question. You may have 25 questions because they do get kind of random at final exam but if you do the same thing that you did with chapters 1 through 18 yes it is a pain uh, with the final exam and 
paste, copy and paste every single question and answer. There's 150 questions and answers on the Excel testing. Uh, so if you do that with the, you know, the questions and answers for the 150 on the final exam, if you fail the final exam, you don't get at least, you need 70%, which you're going to have to get, you only miss, I don't know, maybe like 40 of them or some 30 or 40, I don't know what the person is. Anyways, so say you fail the final exam, you already have 150 questions and answers, which you're guaranteed to have at least 50 of those already answered on the next time you take the final exam. If you take the final exam again, if you copy and paste in, we'll say, we're gonna say, we're gonna go to this next question here. We'll go to the next question. Okay, now copy. Okay, I'm gonna go over here. Now we're going to search. Find. Now it says search key not found. Why? Because this question is not on there. Again, we'll go down here at the bottom and we'll just say two for an answer, you know, whatever. Um, you will have another question and answer already on the paper. So if you, let's say you failed the final exam again, which I'm going to guarantee you will not because you already have at least 50 of those 100 answered. You're going to, you're going to know at least 25 to 50 of those. So if you get 100 of the questions right, you know, you got at least 66% of the questions right. Um, you know, you only need four more percent. It can't be that hard. Uh, but if you fail it again for a second time, you know, you don't have to worry. You can take it all multiple times on the Excel testing. You can take it as many times as you want. You have 30 days to complete all of it. So you go back. And now you've got, we're going to say, we're going to say there was 50 questions that weren't answered on the first time around. Now you've got 200 questions and answers already on here. So it's guaranteed you're going to have at least 100, you know, 75 to 100, maybe 125 of those questions and answers on the third time already answered for you. Awesome, right? It's less work you got to do on the third time. It literally took me 20, 20 minutes or so on the second time because I had most of the answers and questions already posted, uh, you know, copy and paste. So that is my quick way of doing it. Have any other questions? Feel free to ask. I'll probably answer them sometime in the next year. Uh, like I said, I do not see you as often. Anyways, good luck to you. And.